All right, we're going to be uh, showing you the five modes on the Akaya Pearl 2021 scale. Uh, two modes are enabled out of box. Uh, Akaya does this so that people aren't too frustrated by going through all the, the modes when they start up the scale, but the five can be enabled or disabled through the advanced settings. I have all five set up for the purposes of this display. All right, power up the scale very fast. This is the basic weighing mode. It defaults to grams. Tarred out. You can switch between grams and ounces by long pressing the tar button. And yeah, the basic mode, very fast response time. Press and hold the power button to get to the next mode. This is actually the dual display mode. It has a timer, which is start, started, stopped, and reset via single presses on there. And the tar button will tar things out, for instance. Put that on there, tar it out to get rid of the craft weight. Now, you may have seen something pop up there. The real killer feature of this scale is the, is the uh, uh, visual flow rate indicator. Check it out. So I'm going to start the timer and start pouring. Look at that bar that pops up there. And the ideal sort of flow rate is between this first light and that second bigger light. If you go too fast, there's the max out. And if you're going too slow, it's pretty slow. <laughs> This thing has dramatically improved my pour over coffee uh, by having that visual flow indicator there. I love it. Stop the timer, single press, press again to reset, remove the craft, tar it out, and move on to the next mode. Press and hold. See that fade in and out? Love it. This is uh, the dual display mode, but this time with the auto start indicator for the timer. So you don't have to worry about uh, pressing the timer. It will start on its own. Let me turn this out. Start pouring. You see the timer has started. New now, it doesn't stop when you stop pouring, which it used to. I have to look more into that and I'll report about it in the review. Uh, when you want to stop the timer on its own, you can press that button or you can remove everything. And it's going to give you the calculation of the beverage weight versus the total weight. Zero that out, zero that out. And we're ready to go to the next mode, which is the portafilter mode. Press and hold. Now this is the portafilter mode, and it's called portafilter mode because when you put a portafilter on it, it will zero out. And it will save that setting for 15 seconds, which you can change in the advanced settings. So if you want to remember the portafilter weight for 30 seconds or 60 seconds or always, you can change that. Um, we're going to see it zero out here in 15 seconds. So there you go. Put it back on. Zeroes out again. Grind your coffee. Hopefully it takes less than 15 seconds. Tamp it out or put it in here to measure it. And that gives you the measurement of your portafilter coffee weight. There you go. All right. Next mode. Next mode is the beverage mode. I love the beverage mode. Button presses are still a bit finicky. You're going to see this. Uh, first, it asks you to put the cup on. So we'll put the craft down. Press and long hold till you see it change to filter and that go to three lines. Then it's ready for the filter. So let's put that on. Hopefully it doesn't block the camera too much. And it should be okay. Now with the filter on, you press and hold until you see cough in three lines. Then you can add your coffee. Here's the coffee. There, 20 grams. Press and hold, it's recorded the coffee weight. Now it goes into basically an auto brew mode. 
The little red thing is on. The flow rate indicator is ready to go. The timer is ready to go. And as soon as you start pouring, it all starts. Just like the dual display mode or dual display auto start mode. I'm not going to pour a full batch here. I'm just giving you a demonstration. And then here's uh, a cool feature of this mode. Once it is done brewing, check out what happens. Once you actually remove the filter assembly, which I'll do right now, it stops, it tells you the brew time, it tells you the brew weight of the liquid, it tells you the calculated brew ratio, all sorts of information. I love this. When I'm evaluating coffees, I use it all the time. And there you go, the five modes. Press and hold again to get back to the first mode. Turn it out, double tap to turn it off, double tap to turn it off, double tap to turn it off. And that is the Akaya scale and it's five modes.